I am Sai Priyadarshini Anak. Um, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Um, this research was conducted both at Baylor College of Medicine, where I was a postdoctoral fellow with Dr. Moore, who's also the a senior co-corresponding author with me on this manuscript, and here at U of I. Bile acids are uh, endogenous surfactants. They help digest all the yummy, greasy fat we love to eat uh, from the small intestine. And uh, chemically, if you take a look at their structure, they have a steroid uh, backbone, and uh, they're pretty much a classically known for digestion function. So they're tightly regulated by a negative feedback loop, which is controlled by two nuclear receptors, farnesoid X receptor and SHP. There was evidence that um, copious amounts of bile acid were associated with tumorigenesis, not only liver, but also colon uh, carcinomas. And we had uh, performed a previous uh, study to show that when we lose both farnesoid X receptor and SHP, we get copious amounts of bile acid, and these mice are really sick with a lot of liver injury, showing the critical role of these uh, receptors in this process of maintaining bile acid homeostasis. Hippo pathway was actually uh, recently, not recently, six years ago, identified by Duaggio Pan's group as a universal organ size controlling pathway. All it is is a serine threonin kinase cascade, uh, which through a series of kinase reaction controls this molecule called YAP or yes associated protein, which actually functions as a transcription coactivator and can bind DNA in its non phosphorylated state. This is our primary finding where we see that uh, loss of FXR or SHIP or having copious amounts of bile acids led us to a uh, decrease in phospho YAP, which is the inactive version, um, suggesting YAP pathway was activated. Um, so then we went ahead and proved beyond doubt that bile acid were the molecules which were driving this pathway by uh, isolating wild type primary cells and incubating with different concentration of bile acid. Physiological concentrations of bile acid do not activate YAP. Um, and thank God for that, because we do not want to trigger extra liver growth when it is not needed. Only during pathological conditions is this pathway activated. Um, and we can see this by increasing high amounts of bile acid by either feeding a normal mice bile acids or another chemical called DDC, which is used to mimic uh, cholestasis. We spent a good deal of uh, several years trying to chase the mechanism behind um, activation of um, YAP by bile acid. We came across this molecule called as IQ GAP1. They are IQ repeat containing um, GTPase activating protein. They are prominently known for their function as cell cell addition through e cadherin beta catenin or uh, function in actin cytoskeleton. So what we find is uh, bile acids by inducing IQ gap one uh, can definitely activate YAP. And we've gone and made a mouse model in which we overexpress IQ gap one in a wild type animal, and that's sufficient to increase the YAP levels. And we can clearly see that um, gap one knockouts do not show any um, YAP activation, whereas gap two, which is the sister protein which you saw on that slide, which shares 62% homology, um, when it is lost, IQ gap one levels rise, and those mice all show YAP activation, clearly indicating that. IQ GAP1 overexpression drives YAP activation. Uh, we obtained uh, 29 uh, samples of uh, human clinical samples of patients who were, uh, you know, diagnosed with cholestasis. We find that cholestasis increases uh, both YAP and IQ GAP1 expression, and uh, we have shown in the manuscript further that hepatocellular carcinomas also have high levels of IQ GAP1. The take-home message would be. Um, Bile acids are great, but they have to be under normal homeostatic physiological conditions. If they go about, they're going to cause cell death, injury, and even liver cancer by talking to the hippo signaling pathway.